day again guys today i just want us to do the exponential equations exponential exponential equations see exponential equations let us try to solve some exponential equations suppose if now i give you something like this say to you i have 2 to the power of x with 4 then ask you a question to say now solve for x how are you going to solve for x in this situation firstly we need prime base the prime base of 4 is going to be 2 squared immediately at this point we have the same base which is 2 on both sides we can then do what drop the exponents you see just like this then we move again suppose if now again i decide to give you another example which is now like this let's say if i have 2x it's 2 minus 2x somewhere there let's say if i have 12 then now i decide to ask you a question to say now solve for this you see now in between these two i have a sign i have a sign in between these two which is now what a negative sign then i must split this one how then i am going to split this one bear in mind you still remember the law of exponent that we dealt with when we were starting with the concept of the exponent still remember we said if let's say now i have something like this same base you see i can do right now i can add those exponents like this you see you see at this point we are here but we want to split it's like now we go backward you see i'm going to have something which is 2x you see it's like am multiplied by 2 to the power 2 you see we go backward you see then we have here 2x which is equal to 12 then check 2x 2x appears this side also appears this side you can just factor out this 2x you see then if I remove this 2, I'm going to be remain with what? With 2 squared. You see, minus this side, I'm going to be remained with what? With 1. You see? We write 1, not 0. Then, see? Then for, for this one, you are going to get 4 minus 1 is 3. It's like now I have x3 equals to 12 then we divide everything with 3 this one cancel this one 12 divided by 3 3 6 9 12 i get 4 see we are back to that example you see and then say 2 2 squared then you drop because now we have the same base. This is our final answer. See, just by doing this, we have managed to solve these questions. Then now, I want to give you another example again. Let's say if now, I were to give you this this kind let's say now number three suppose if we have now nine and x somewhere there minus four right with three x plus one say plus twenty seven equals to zero you see let me put an asterisk to this one you see then 
how then are you going to solve for this one this one is a quadratic it's a quadratic equation in a way quadratic equation firstly let us write some prime base it's like for this one i'm going to get three squared you see three squared with x oh let me just put some brackets minus four you see if i were to split this one i'll get three x multiplied by thirty one see that's twenty seven over there plus two zero bear in mind uh oh let me just firstly solve I see you see 2 multiplied by x this is what I'm going to get then we have 4 we have 3x we have 31 plus 27 equals 2 0 then at this point I just want to highlight something see I just want to highlight something that if I have 30 to the power 2 and 3 x multiplied by 2 these two things they are the same you see it's like for this one now i have 3 x to the 2 minus 4 x 1 plus 27 there is no need for us to write one, but I just want to write it in a way that you can be able to see. Yeah. Then at this point, what I'm going to need from you is that you can see that 3 to the power x appears more than 1. You see? We can then just see now let 3x be k see where we see 3x let us substitute k squared minus 4 or oh, for this one let me just say 4 multiply by 3 see what do we get 4 a 12 get 12 k where we see 3x plus 27 equals to 0. You see, it's so simple. Then at this point, we then going to factorize. What are the factors of 27? 9 multiplied by 3, let's check. Yes. 9 multiplied by 3, we get 27. Let's see if I add those two, I get 12. Yes, going to say k, k minus, minus. You see, I said 9 and 3, 9 and 3. You see, then at this point, I can then say, okay, k minus 9 equals to 0. Oh, the light. Oh, this light matter. Oh, k minus 3 equals to 0. Let us transpose, we get 9, we get 3. See? Our k, don't forget, is 3 to the power x. 9, we can write it like this. See? Let us change this one as well. We have 3. We have 1 somehow. Then you can then drop your exponent. Then going to be 2 or x plus 2, 1. You see, this is how we solve the exponential what equations. I thank you and enjoy.